Okay, so hello everyone. This is part two of our HTML CSS playlist. Okay, so in this video, we will learn like what are the code editor we need to download in order to start HTML and CSS. So we will start. We will download code editor, which is VS Code. Okay, VS Code is provided by Microsoft. Okay, and this VS Code code editor have huge community support. Okay, so that's the reason we will use this VS Code. It is very simple to download VS Code. Okay, you can simply download VS Code by searching here VS Code. Simply type here VS Code, and on the very first link you can click. Once you click on the link, you will get this website. And here, you when you click on this download for Windows, it will start downloading. Okay, so it is asking where you want to download. So like VS Code. Okay, I created a folder. And inside this folder, I'm downloading this VS Code. Okay, so it is like this. It is downloaded. So if you want to go to the download section, so in the browser, you will press Control plus J. When you press Control plus J, you will get the download section. In the download section, you will get this Show in folder. Click on Show in folder, right? So this is how you will reach to the location. And now right click and click on Open. Okay, so it will ask you permission. Just click on accept, accept the agreement. If you want to read it, you can read. Otherwise, simply you can click on I accept the agreement and then click on next. I'm not installing it because I already installed this VS Code. So suppose you have downloaded this VS Code and you installed the VS Code, right? So then what you will do once you downloaded the VS Code, now you have to go to the folder location. Go to your drive. For example, I'm using D drive. In D drive, I'll go in full stack Python and inside this, I'll go uh, which folder? UI module. Okay. And inside the UI, UI module, I have this folder HTML, CSS, right? You can create any folder and okay. Let me delete this. Here I will create a folder where I will create the code, where I will write the code HTML and CSS code. So what is the shortcut key to create the folder? You can simply create the folder by right click and go to the new and you can create folder by clicking here but uh, as a programmer you should know the shortcut keys as well so if you want to use shortcut key to create new folder just press ctrl and shift and press n when you press n you will get a new folder now write the name here code okay so my folder name is code and i'm going inside this folder okay so what i will do here hmm. can you see this this url okay here here you need to write cmd when you write CMD here, so this folder location, whatever the folder location, wherever you created this folder, this folder location will open in CMD. So simply type here CMD, right? So here is your folder location open. Can you see here? What is the folder location? D drive, full stack Python. And inside the full stack Python, there is a folder called UI module. And inside the UI module, there is a folder called HTML and CSS UI module. And inside this, we have another folder, which is code. Okay, so here, from here, from this location, I will open, open what? VS Code Editor, I will open. So what is the trick? What is the shortcut way to open VS Code? So simply type here, VS, okay, simply type here, code, dot. When you, the moment you will write here, code and dot, dot represent the current location. And code is basically for open VS Code. Okay, when you press enter, your VS Code will open like this. Okay, so you can, close this and here is here is what your folder okay so this one is for creating new file and this one is for creating new folder okay so what i will do here i'll create new file click here click here and create new file okay so i will write here index.html why i am writing html okay so why i am writing here index.html index is file name and dot html is the extension which represent this file contain html code Okay, for example, if you are writing here .c, .c means your index file containing C language code. If you write here .java, .java means your file, your index file contain Java code, right? So that's the reason we are writing here .html. HTML means basically we will write HTML code here, right? So this is for HTML, okay? And we will create another file, which the file name is style, okay? And this file we will create for CSS. So what's the extension of CSS? dot css right this is the exchange extension right so here is 
index.html and here is what style.css so see in your folder where you created this folder you will get two files this one is index.html and this one is for style okay style means css for css right so go go here okay so when you press this shortcut exclamation sign when you click when you type this exclamation sign and press enter you will get automatically the like we can say simple template of html we can say you will get the basic structure of html okay so let's understand line by line what is the mean of this what's the mean of this and what's the mean of this okay so let's understand and whatever you will write in the html whatever content you will write your content must be wrapped between this html open text and html close text okay so let's understand one by one what's the mean of this doc html okay it's important to know before writing html code okay so that's the reason we will understand this code structure as well okay let me increase the size okay so what's the mean of this actually doc type html so what's the mean of this is what declaration this is declaration of the document type and version of html okay so basically it represent what it represent html5 okay because we are we are learning html5 version okay so this this is what the representation like uh, like it tells to the web browser like we have to use the latest latest html version right so declaration of document type like which type of document it is and the version of the html okay basically the latest version is html5 okay now what is the mean of this html lang equals to en what's the mean of it so let's understand it okay so what's the mean of this this is what root element root root element of the html document right like we can say this is a top element root element means top element okay then what's the mean of lang lang represent what language lang is nothing but this is what language okay and what's the mean en en represent en represent to english okay right okay after that let's see what is another tag after that we have head tag okay so what's the mean of this head tag okay so basically this head head tag contain okay so we can say it it is or we can say it contains meta tags and title tag title tag and links okay for example you want to link like external css then you will write that link in head section okay so title where we can exactly write title what is title we will discuss about it as well so we will write title in head tag okay so this meta tag uh, keep the information of our html doc document okay meta data is what for example you have a book okay for example you purchased a book so what is the meta data of the book so meta data of the book is who is the author of the book right and what is the price of the book right what is the name of the book so this is data about data that, that is what data about data means information about the data data is what our book but metadata is what who is the author who, what is the price of the book okay how many pages are there in a book so this is all about metadata so which which tells about the data our data is what book book content is our data but metadata is what which is giving information us about that data okay now let's understand what is this title what's the mean of this title okay sets so what what it does sets the title of the page okay displayed displayed in the browser browser's title bar and search engine results okay so what it does sets the title of the page okay for example i am opening here let me open some page for example here is what our download here is what our download this is what download page and this is what title title of the page okay so what is the mean of body tag and what does it contain right so this tag contains the content content of the html document right it content it contains okay 
or content of HTML document. Okay, so this was the definition of each tag, right? So you can you can read this definitions. Okay, whenever you will see doc type HTML means it is the latest version of HTML we are using in our code. Okay, so now let's understand how our HTML uh, works. Okay, so basically, uh, for, so for example, if you want to see the output of this code, this HTML code, so how you can see? Just right click on this, right click on index.html, then you will see copy path. Okay, copy the path. After that, go to the browser and open a new tab and paste your copied path here and press enter. The moment you will uh, press enter, you will see the output of your code. Okay, so as as of now we didn't write anything. That's why we are not getting anything. For example, here if you will change the change the title, so you will see a different a new title. Okay, so for example, this title name is HTML and CSS. Okay, so open the browser and check and refresh it, and you will see what is the title HTML and CSS. So here is the title, and this is what body of the HTML. So for example, if you want to write something. Then we have heading tag. Tag heading tag represent by h1. Okay, h1 to h6. We have heading tags. Okay, so how many heading tags we have? We have six heading tags. H1 to h6. Okay, for example, I'm writing here h1. This is h1 heading. Right. Let me save it and go to the browser and refresh. So it is coming. This is h1 heading. Right. Okay, so then we will write h2, okay, and then some content we will write, and h3, okay, and you can use also shortcut like, okay, then h4 we will write, h, h5, okay, and then last one is h6, okay, let me copy this line, and let me paste it here, this one is h2 tag, h2 heading, okay, and paste it everywhere okay and then h3 right h4 h5 and h6 okay so we have these six headings h1 to h6 right so let me go to the browser and refresh it and you will see all the headings can you see the difference between each heading h1 is large like h1 is biggest and h6 is smaller okay so these are the heading text we can use after heading text, we have paragraph also. Okay, so we can write paragraph. So this is a paragraph. Paragraph tag. Okay, like this we can write. And let me refresh it. Okay, so this paragraph is coming. Okay, so for example, if you want to write dummy paragraph, so what you will write? Write p tag and inside the p tag, what you can do? You can write lorem. And if I am saying lorem lorem ten, so means it will it will give us how many words? 10 words. Okay, so it is giving us 10 words. So this is what dummy, dummy text. Okay, dummy text you can get with the help of lorem, lorem. Okay, so for example, if I say p lorem 5, so I'll get 5 words. If I say p, p tag inside p tag lorem 20, so I'll get 20, 20 words. Okay, so like that it works. Okay, let me go to the browser. Let me refresh the page. So it is coming like this right okay so let me delete it okay so for example i'm writing writing my name i'm writing my name in h1 so how can i write mohd in the way so this is my name okay so go to the browser let me refresh so my name is coming now what i want i want to change the color so in order to change the color what you will do we can use css okay so we can apply CSS here. So what we will write, we will write here. We will apply here style. Okay. Okay. So here we can change, write the property to change the color. Simply we need to write only color and then color there. For example, red and then save it. Go to the browser and refresh it. Can you see name is name color, uh, name color is changed, right? And for example, I'm writing here like P tag. Okay. And inside the P tag, I am writing some dummy lorem uh, 5. Okay, so this is dummy tag. I go to the browser. I want to increase the font size of this paragraph. So what how can I how can I increase the font size? Simply I will write a style and inside the style what I will write? 
font size okay font size and for example i am giving 30 pixel so what will happen this size will increase the font paragraph size will increase okay so size is increased if you want to increase more then you can give 50 as well okay okay like this it is increasing so this is how you can use internal css inline css right okay so thank you everyone for watching this video okay so in the next video in the next video we will discuss about the css like how many types of css are there and how we can apply css right we will study in detail okay so stay tuned thanks for watching this video